To build an Islamic center near Ground Zero in New York City is expected to move forward Tuesday with city approval to tear down an existing building on the proposed site. Correspondent James Rosen reports the project has reopened many old wounds on both sides of the issue. And to celebrate that murder of 3,000 Americans, they want to build a monstrous 13-story mosque at Ground Zero. The emotions surrounding 9-11 front and center in this ad by a Republican PAC have complicated but not derailed plans by a Muslim consortium to erect a 15-story, $100 million mosque and cultural center on Park Place in Lower Manhattan, two blocks north of Ground Zero. Yet the project enjoys the backing of New York City's top elected officials. Unlike in other places where they might actually ban people from wearing a burqa or they might actually uh, keep people from building a building, that's not what America was founded on, nor is it what America should become. The project was initially called Cordoba House, but critics noted the reference to the Spanish capital where, in the 8th century, Muslim invaders conquered Spanish Catholics. Now it goes by the swankier, more neutral Park 51. On Twitter, Sarah Palin urged peace-seeking Muslims to reject this, quote, provocation that stabs hearts, but members of the Muslim American community say they, too, lost loved ones at the Twin Towers. Their faith and their community have nothing to do with 9-11, so why should we allow bigots to uh, limit the rights of American Muslims in New York to build. On, on what basis? Fear-mongering, misunderstanding, bigotry? In opposing the project, the Anti-Defamation League concedes the consortium has the right to build on Park Place, but says rights are less important here than what is right. Leading GOP figures agree. Remember the furor around the world when Catholic nuns wanted to put up a convent near Auschwitz, the uproar over that. I'm quite happy if they'd come in and said we want to build a community center near Central Park. We'd like to build a community center near Columbia University. Uh, but they didn't. They said right at the edge of a place where, let, let's be clear, Thousands of Americans were killed in an attack by radical Islamists. The consortium's leader, an imam named Faisal Abdul Rauf, has reportedly denied Hamas is a terrorist organization and called U.S. foreign policy a, quote, accessory to the crime of 9-11. You see so many uh, places being constructed there. You do not go and dig into the background what every manager of that construction project has said in his or her lifetime. Similar controversies over the building of mosques are unfolding in another borough of New York City, Staten Island, as well as in Tennessee, Florida, and California. Brett. James, thank you.